Hey, Casey, where do you feel like all the extra intensity, especially on defense, came from today? Uh, practice, like, like most of the time when you lose, like how we've been losing, uh, the stuff we've been going through this season, people break down. But I feel like um, coach has instilled in us, like, like no one, no one has felt sorry for us. Like none of the coaching staff feel bad, or I mean, they feel bad, but none of them are like down in the dumps. Everyone's still giving us positive energy. And when you have your coaching staff and your people you look up to always pumping positive energy at you, you feel like you, you, you feel like you owe them. Like you owe them the energy. You owe them giving them giving it your all all the time. So like, because after those games, after some of the games, you feel really bad about yourself. But like, coach would always give us positive quotes. Everyone was always – all the coaches staff was always positive energy, no one was down on us. So I feel like we, we, as a, we as a team, we got together and we felt like we had, to, we had to give back to them, show that we still care, even though stuff is happening left and right. We show that we care. And it seemed like whether it was you, Antonio, or Davion, there was quite a bit more effort <clears throat> to get the ball inside today. How do you think that worked? Uh, I felt like they still trust us. I've been going through some struggles. My, if I tell you how much stuff I got to do every day, just get my leg up to get my be able to run every day. It's been tough. The season's been tough for me. The season's been tough for all of us. We all gone through a little shit. The fans don't really know it. Um, people still talk down on us or whatever on the internet. They don't know what we're going through, but we still we still are gonna be able to put our number one effort all the time. And our teammates, my teammates, my point guards, all the guards around me. They know that I can still score the ball. I've been going through some, I've been fighting myself, going through my leg injury and all that stuff, but they know, they feel like we can still score down. Me, D, Brad, Antonio, feel like we can still score down. So they give us chances. And um, I want to capitalize on all those chances they give us. And uh, I, mean, I don't want to take too much from a loss, but if, if you guys keep playing this hard the rest of the way, do you think good things will happen? Yeah. Um, it's tough. I don't like, I, I really don't like the expression or the saying moral victories. I don't like that. A loss is still a loss. No matter how hard we went, you, you, you can congratulate, congratulate the effort we gave or whatever, but we still lost. So we're going to come back same energy tomorrow. Um, we played hard today, so we might not go as hard in practice tomorrow, but the next day we'll, the next day after that, we're going to go get after it, scout the guys. And like, we put every team on notice that we're, we're the dark horse. Like you can't, you can't just like come into the game and expect to have 20. We're gonna we're gonna give you a hard game, and that's that's any game. Who else? Whoever we play down the line, we're gonna we're gonna go all out and play our best. All right. Hey, thanks, Casey. Appreciate it. No problem. Next questions for Casey. Uh, Ryan Black for the next question. Hey, uh, Casey. I know you know you. Picked up two offensive fouls there uh, among, you know, and, and basically I just didn't know, did, were they ones that were that surprised you or after you got whistled, you're like, okay, yeah, no, those those were things where I should have done better? The first foul I got, I felt like, okay, maybe the refs got me. I mean, maybe it was a flop. Maybe I extended my arm. But the second one, like, I made sure that I did it, you know? And, like, um, I felt like – Maybe posting up a guard, maybe he fl he flopped or he stood. I don't know. The rest had it, whatever. Just the way the game goes. Sometimes you don't get calls. The rest, the rest aren't already decided all the time. It's it's all right. I mean, I just gotta watch film and learn how to position better so like I don't turn over the ball like that. How hard is that, Casey? I mean, do you feel like in a way you're having to kind of change your game to adjust to the refs, or, or just what is it that uh, I just I have to think this is very difficult when I'm sure there's a certain way that you want to play the game and the referees maybe are not letting you play that way. It, it's it's kind of tough because sometimes you're playing undersized guys. And, like, if, like, Texas Tech, they're, like, all undersized. They don't have really anyone, like, the same size or physique as my, myself. So I'm trying to put, like, force in to get into where I want to go and make a move. But, like, I can't really establish my own presence because they will flop or this or that. So – it's tough, but then again, it's basketball. That's the game. Like, it's been around forever. People take charges. So I just got to adjust my game and, and learn as the game goes on how to do better. And then, Casey, and I think it was the first answer that you gave or maybe the second one. You would mentioned that like, you guys have no idea how much I have to do to get ready to play, like, every game with, with my leg. Uh, I guess, where are you health-wise? I mean, are you 
I mean, how, where are you compared to where you were at the beginning of this season when you were in the starting lineup for the first few games? Uh, well, that's so funny because at the beginning of the season, I was still injured. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, because I, I injured myself like the first a week before the first game. So like I like and I got some injection in my knee to be able to play because I sat out the whole season and I wanted to play so bad. So I had to play. And now I like like it just on it. Like some days my some day my knees like it's mad at me and it's like, you know, and it's telling me not to play. But some day my knees are fine. So I can't really pick and choose. But I just got to stay with the treatment and all that stuff like I. I literally live in the treatment room now these days. Like every day I'm in there. Even when I don't feel the pain, I still got to be in there because the next day it might just come out and slap me in the face. So, you know, I just got to keep keep on it. And I'm going to keep trying my best because this team, this team is special. And I feel that we can accomplish something. So I want to give my all so I, we, we, can, we can do something. Any way I can help. Even if I don't, even if I'm not as athletic anymore because of my injury or like for the short time and I can't because I haven't really lifted to get back my athleticism. So even if I'm not as athletic right now, I'll give anything, anything to this team so we can help a win, get a win. And I guess have you, have you ever dealt with, with injuries much before this season or has this been like something you've had to really work through? Because I know if you've never dealt with injuries before, this has to make it even harder. This has been my first injury. I've never really had a serious injury like this. Everyone, like all basketball players, go through like ankle sprains and shit like that. Like that's like a two to three weeks. You just rehab and you get you get over it. But this is the first time I've really had an injury, and it's been tough, like mentally, going through every day, not knowing how your legs are gonna feel, not knowing if you can rely on your athleticism. You gotta rely on your smarts now, and so it, it's been kind of tough. But like. It's, it's still a learning experience for me. So I'm learning through this. And as I, as I get older, as I get much more mature in this game, I feel like this will help better me. This is only just a challenge to help me get better. So. Casey, thank, thank you so much for being, uh, for, for being patient with my questions. I appreciate it. No problem. Uh, next question to Michael Bowens. Yeah, Casey, Coach Weber has talked about you guys getting your, your – Coach Sorry, Weber. I can't really hear you. Michael, Coach, you might have to speak up. You speak up, Mike. Coach Weber has talked about you guys having your spirit broken by teams' runs. What kind of prevented that today that you guys were able to bounce back? Um, I feel like we – like uh, most people look at the final scores of every game that we've played and people would be like, oh, they lost by 20 or oh, this or that. But like most of the game we've – like there's up to a point we've played good defense and then after then they go on a run and after then they blow the shit out. So I feel like as a team, we've really like, now we're starting to narrow in on certain times. Like there was a time where they went up seven points and like in the huddle, we were like, okay, that's enough. We got to get back. Then we brought it back down to two. And then they went on the run again, then we brought it back down. So like, I feel like as a team, we're mature enough to like know like all the rah-rah is enough. And then after it's time, to execute and produce something on the floor. And what the team has paused is Texas Tech. Have you got to kind of choose your poison with uh, guarding the inside or guarding the perimeter? Uh, yeah, McClung is special. Like, uh, he's, he's a really good player, I can't lie. But, like, I feel like our defense is able to stop a lot of, like, we could stop. Our defense is built to stop, like, other, other stars on the team, like, but I don't know how much how much De Silva have. I don't know how much he had, but he wasn't really. I don't feel like he was a really big factor in the game. And he's he had six. To, yeah, he's not like he's so that's under his average. So like like I feel like McClung is a star. Like we tried our best and we still could have done better on him. But I feel like our our defense is built so that we could stop most stars like in this league. So I feel like our, we could rely on our defense. Uh, 